Well, think of what it would be like without the Spirit, without, the spirit, hmm. without God. Without, what, what, think about that. We wouldn't, you know, having the Spirit, we still find ourselves in trouble. But this thing, because that's why he came, amen? amen. That's why he came when the Bible says that when we were powerless and we went we with our strength, that Christ Jesus died for us, amen? Uh, where, and, uh, another point said that, but God demonstrated his love for us in this way, hmm. that while we were sinners, amen? Hmm. amen? So it was come to, to save us and to redeem us, amen? And then what was so good that before he ascended to his father to go in glory, he told the disciples that, I ain't going to leave you as orphans and widows, amen? Amen. But I'm going to send you the counselor, amen? Amen. The comforter, the Holy Spirit that will lead you and hmm. guide you, amen? All the way, amen. Will, hey, praise God, but amen. God, but God, but God. Amen, because how do you know we all fall short of God's glory? Yeah. And many times we stray away and we, want, we, we, we do sometimes do things that we're not of God, but the Spirit convicts us, amen? Amen. And helps us turn us around, re confess and repent of those things, amen? Because without, without spirit, hey, we're just going to do what we're doing, amen? We'll just do anything, amen? amen. Think about Sodom and Gomorrah, hmm. amen? Hmm. Think about the days of Noah when, he, when God sent the flood, amen? amen? Didn't have no spirit. Paul and, I mean, David and the rest of them, before Christ came and gave the spirit, went through everything, people were out of order. We're still out of order today, but now we have the spirit. And those who believe on him, he said, shall not perish, but receive everlasting life. Amen? Amen. So today's words come from the book of Colossians. Amen? Amen. And, and, and like I said, I want to stick with that thought because we say God is good. Amen? Amen. And he is good. Amen? Amen? So this word I want y'all to stick with today. Amen? Word comes from the book, reading comes from the book of Colossians. Colossians 3, verse 23. Amen. amen. Th verse 23 and 24, I'm going to read. Amen. And it says, Whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Amen. amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Knowing that the Lord ye shall reward, the, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance. For ye serve the Lord Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of his word. Amen. Amen. And I want you to keep with this thought on your mind today. Salvation is a reward enough. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Salvation is a reward enough. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, one of the many ways at too many times do many of us show and display our attitude of, of ungratefulness and unappreciation for what Christ has done for us Come in the way by our grumbling and complaining about the things that go on. Amen. Amen. Too many times, grumbling and complaining goes on rather than praising God. Amen. Amen. Once again, rather than praising, giving glory and honor for what he has done, too often the focus becomes ourselves. Hmm. We do this in our homes, on our, on our job, school, and worst of all, Right here in the household of God, hmm. when things are not going the way we see or when it doesn't happen in the time we think it should happen, uh, or when we're not constantly being patted on the back or, or, or rewarded for what we uh, think we should be rewarded for, amen? amen. Once again, on our job, in school, in our school, even in the church house of God, amen? Amen. Rather than praising for what he has done and what he's doing, amen? Amen. amen. We want to complain and grumble about it, amen? Amen. Right. Too often, once again, in our schools, and our homes, and our job, rather than give him, a, rather than have an attitude and gratitude about what he done, many times we just have an attitude. Amen. Amen? Amen. So, let me explain something, first of all, brothers and sisters. If earthly treasures and earthly reward are what we're looking for, then that's just what we're going to get. Hmm. Amen? Amen? Matthew 16 and 19, uh, 6 and 19 tells us, first of all, not to store up treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where three thieves break in and steal, but rather store up for ourselves treasures in heaven, heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. It says, for wherever your treasure is, there your heart is also. Yes, Amen? Yes. So if I'm complaining about not being rewarded or not being recognized or not receiving what I think I'm doing here on earth, amen, then really my heart is not on God, amen? amen. My heart is not on Christ, amen? Let me once again, man don't owe us nothing, amen? amen. Man don't owe us nothing. And guess what? God certainly don't owe us nothing, amen? Rather, we owe God. 
Amen. Amen. We owe God. Man didn't die for us. Man didn't shed his blood for us. Man didn't get up for us. Amen. Amen. But we want man to reward us. We've already been rewarded with salvation and everlasting life. Amen. But once again, the grumbling and complaining. I think I shouldn't be doing this. Or I'm being overlooked. I don't think I'm appreciated. Hey, man, first of all, God is the rewarder. Amen. And he has told us in his word that those who diligently seek him, he will reward. Amen. Amen. No good thing will he withhold from them who walk uprightly before him. Amen. 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 So our goal should not be to, to seek uh, the earthly things in the first in the first place. You know, if we're seeking God and doing what God has called us to do and striving to live a life of godly and righteous, God is going to reward us. Amen. Amen. I just heard someone say she's been praying for a job. Amen. I've been praying for a home, praying for a house. And, she, and she's got it. Amen. Amen. Somebody else probably got a testimony here. Some of the guys did for them. Amen. I can go there. Amen. Amen. Because my, 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 my purpose has been seeking God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I ain't perfect. Amen. But as, as uh, one said in that song, uh, it's going to get it in here. Yeah. Okay. As one said in the song, I think it's William Murphy said, I haven't been perfect, but I've been faithful. Amen. And that's what God is calling. God is saying, hey, if you just be faithful of a few things, I'll make you rule of many things. Don't, you know, when we sit up and grumble and complain about stuff, that first of all is showing that we ain't trusting God. Hmm. Amen. 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 If, you know, and if, if I ain't been patted on my back by man or I ain't been rewarded by man, I'm being rewarded by God. Amen. Mm. That's the reward we should want. Amen. Look, this stuff right here uh, uh, go, uh, passes away and dissolve and get old and rust away. Amen. Amen. But there's eternal life for all of us that there'll be no more weeping, no more crying, uh, no more tears, but joy and singing, praising Him. That's, that's supposed to be our goal. Amen. Amen. That is our goal to get from this side to the other side. Amen. So, once what's, what's, what's again, rather than have an attitude of ungratitude, just have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. 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 Think about what he's done for you. Think about what he's doing. And think about the things that he's promised to do for us. Amen. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And he said he should add all the things unto it. Amen. So, whatever I need, I'm lacking. First of all, we need spiritual for it. Amen. We need to be, we need the spiritual part first. We need that relationship with him in, in order, right? And then he said, I'm gonna add all other things. So what you lack in life, I'm, if I'm needing peace, if I'm needing healing, if I'm needing deliverance, I'm needing restoration, and then I need the other stuff of the world. God said, Oh, that's yours because you're seeking me and got me my priority and first uh first in your life. Amen. So once again, salvation is reward enough, amen. Salvation is reward enough. Look, what well, the Bible says that uh, at, we were all dim, condemned to hell, to death, and, and condemnation. But Christ came to save us from that, amen? amen? So just keep this in mind, brother. If I ain't being rewarded no job, if they ain't showing me that, you know, if I think, because that's the most of the time, once again, most of the time, we put ourselves in the middle of stuff. And, and they see God from it, amen? When God, first of all, got to be first because he is suffering, and he is suffering over all our life. Amen? Amen. You know, we are nothing without him. Amen? Amen? We don't breathe without him. When we get up in the morning, it ain't on our strength, it's on his strength. That he allowed an angel to stay with us all last night, keep us covered and safe from danger, seen and unseen, and then sent that same angel to wake us up in the morning. Yeah, we don't do this on our own. Amen? Amen. We don't do this on our own. Amen. We look. We're driving down the street. For real, it's him driving, keeping us safe from the day you've seen and unseen. Walking down wherever we do, it's God. It's God. As the song says, nobody but God. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Merciful Lord God, we come before your throne of grace on this day that you have made, giving you praise, glory, and honor for not just what you've done, but for who you are. Our Lord, our God, our Savior, our Redeemer, our help, our strength, our all in all. God, we thank you and we praise you. God, and as the word has come forth today, we pray and ask for forgiveness at any time that we have complained about things without even acknowledging that whatever is going on in our life, that you are the author and the finisher of it. You said in your word that you will withhold no good thing from those who walk uprightly before you. So God, we just ask that you forgive us and God, that 
as days to come, as your will, Lord, that we will begin to seek you and to praise you right in the middle of our storm or whatever's going on in our life, rather than complain or grunt about, that we will give you glory and honor and praise, God. We thank you for every person here. We bless them and, and we pray blessings over them, their lives, their family lives, God. And whatever they touch their hand to, God, I pray that they will be successful and that, first of all, once again, that you will be the main focus of their life. God, we pray blessings over the food and the hands that are prepared. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. For it is in your son Christ Jesus' name we pray. And let all God's people get together. Amen. Amen.